I'm Stu Lennox and you join me on a wet, windy winter's day at Drenham Lindome Lakes near Doncaster. This is a massive complex of over nine lakes well known for its carp and F1 bagging sport. However, today I won't be fishing for those carp, I'm going to fish for one of Lindholm's hidden gems, the Big Perch. Five or ten years ago, Big Perch and commercial carp fisheries were somewhat of a secret. There weren't many people fishing for them and those that were kept their results close to their chest. Nowadays it's less so of a secret and everybody knows that all these fisheries hold some big perch. And there's a couple of reasons why commercial carp fisheries have such big perch. Firstly, neglect. And by neglect, I mean they simply get forgotten about. Big perch thrive on neglect. 99% of the anglers that come here are here for that fantastic carp and F1 sport. The perch are left to themselves, left to their own devices, and they just eat and grow and get huge. Secondly, is the constant source of prey and bait fish. These fisheries are also full of sort of two to three inch roach that because of the biomass are just never going to get any bigger and therefore the perch don't need to look very far for their next meal. Because of those couple of factors, the fish have just got bigger and bigger. There's lots of them and they're huge. What I really like about this style of fishing is just how simple it is and how little kit you need. I've got a rod, a chair and a net and away we go. You could fish the pole, probably be a bit more accurate, a bit more effective. However, there's so much prep and so much setup that comes with pole fishing. I tied half a dozen hook lengths last night and that's me ready to go. I've turned up and I'm fishing within 30 seconds. The hardware I'm using is an Acolyte Plus in the 14 foot. You just need that little bit extra of backbone. There's so many carp in here that if you do hook one, you need a stronger rod to deal with them. And I'm fishing a centre pin reel. The centre pin doesn't give me any tactical benefit, I just think it's really good fun and an enjoyable bit of kit to be using. Well, what a fantastic start. Within 15 minutes of our first cast, you've already smashed our two pound target. This cool little fish with a skinny little tail, it just goes to show you the perch potential of these commercial carp fisheries. Targeting these big perch in commercial carp fisheries can only really be attempted in the winter. As I've said, there's so many carp in these lakes. In the summer, the matches are won with two, three, four hundred pounds. And even today, the temperatures as low as they are, I expect the matches behind me to be won with anywhere between 70 to 80 pounds. What the cold weather does though, it slows it all down and gives you a better chance of getting through the carp into the perch. So here at Lindome, there's nine lakes catering for every type of angler and every type of fishing, whatever you want to do. Pole, method, bomb, whatever your style of fishing, there's something for you here. There's also great facilities. There's a toilet block, an extensively stocked tackle shop. Thank you very much. Cheers and a cafe that serves hot food and drinks should you want a break from the bank. So the rig I'm using is very, very simple. It's a one gram AS5 through to an Olivet and a couple of strung out shot underneath it. The Olivets I'm using are the brand new hybrid Olivets. I really like these because you get the best of both worlds. I've got the flexibility of having an Olivet fixed in place by a couple of pieces of silicon. This means I can move it up and down the line throughout the day as I change spots, change swims or change my presentation without having to worry about sliding locking shot and potentially damaging the line. However, in the past when I've used that type of Olivet, if the fish takes you through a snag or you hit a branch, you can often knock them off and lose them. With the line running through the internal of the Olivet, there's no chance of it being knocked off. So I get the flexibility of a sliding Olivet, but the safety of having the line running through the center. At the hook end, I've got a barbless B911 size 10 to comply with the rules. I like to use as big a hook as I can get away with because of the size of the hook baits. This is the second of two quick bites this morning. The first one was that two pounder you've already seen. The second bite being this gnarly old three pounder a real warrior that's probably been in here for a while. So 
So bait wise, I've got all the usual perch goodies. I've got some dendrobina worms for chopping. I've got some lobworms for chopping, but also for alternative hook baits. And the main bait for today is the king prawn, uncooked raw tiger prawns. So I've never used these before until I started fishing here. For some reason, the perch absolutely adore them. I'll fish a large one on the hook and then I'll chop them and trickle them in throughout the day. The final bait I use is pinkies. So in all my perch fishing, I like to spray pinkies over the top of my hook bait. I think this attracts in those small silver fish and the perch will follow. What a way to finish. This is the third three pound of the day, a colossal three pound 10 ounces. We've had a load of backup two pounders on what has been a phenomenal day's perch fishing at Lindome Lakes.